Okay, this is a fly that I've been tying for years. Uh, it's usually a fly that I want to tie when I don't when I'm feeling lazy and don't want to spend a lot of time uh, tying flies. This is kind of like a guide pattern, real easy to tie, but very functional and effective. Um, before I get started though, make sure you click up in the top corner of your screen to subscribe to our channel. That way you'll be able to see when we have all, the, all of our updates coming up. We have some pretty exciting stuff coming up, so you won't want to miss it. Anyway, this is a, an easy parachute pattern. Um, it's tied. I typically like to tie a parachute on a straight shanked hook, or a, a straight, straight eyed dry fly hook. So I've got a size 14 in the vise right now. I'm going to tie on some light olive uh, UTC 70 denier and you can see I'm using this cool bobbin from Stonfo really high quality piece of equipment they're kind of expensive but they're worth it they uh, feel real good in your hand and fun to tie with anyway I'm gonna take it and just kinda dress the hook alright for the tail instead of doing split tail it's gonna be kind of a shuck style and this is sparkle emerger yarn in gray and so I'm going to take a hank of it, and I'm not going to use the whole thing. I'm going to maybe use half of it. So I've got that cleaned off. And I'm going to come up here about where the body starts and tie these fibers in. And then wrap back. And then trim those roughly the length of the body. Just like that. Now, if you want it to make, to be even a little bit more buggy, you can come in kind of at an angle and trim those up like that, so it's a little bit more natural looking. I've decided to use a biot on this video, um, but it doesn't matter what you use for the body. You could even just use it plain thread dubbing, um, bug wrap, any of that stuff. So as you can see, my biot is notched down. This is notch up. So the notch that I'm talking about is just right here. So if you click up here, this part of your screen, you can see the biot primer where Curtis got super nerdy with biots and he'll teach you uh, how that works. But anyway, I'm going to tie that in notch down so when I wrap it, the uh, the little notch or the little ribs are are showing. All right. I always like to use the rotary feature when I tie my biots, and I've got these Stonfo hackle pliers. Kind of a new deal here. Um, you open it up. There's a little notch, and it grabs whatever you stick in there. Okay, so there's the body. That's a pretty clean little body with a biot, and these things are rock solid. Now, most parachute patterns that you tie, you tie the post very first, and uh, the way that I tie my parachute posts in, you don't necessarily need to do that. Um, my favorite polypropylene yarn to use is this McFlylon yarn. Um, I was talking with Jesse writing the uh, manager at Rainey's Flies a while back and he's he's pretty confident that this is the most buoyant polypro yarn out there and they've they've tried it all. Now this is a full hank. I'm going to trim it back a little bit, maybe use three-fourths of it. So here I've got my polypro yarn. Now a lot of people will take it and come under the fly and tie it in like this and that just leaves a big white spot on the bottom. So what I'm going to do I'm going to take my thread right where I want my post to come up and I'm just going to lay my post right on top of the hook shank like that and just tie the parachute post in right there with seven or eight wraps and then pull both sides up come in front and then start wrapping around it to create your parachute post 
Another reason why I do this is because I I like to wrap up the post. So this takes a lot of time and practice to be able to get it to go like this, but you can see how I'm just doing one wrap of thread on top of the other and then back down. If I were to use too much tension on that, this post would have gone to the side and would would unravel all my my thread wraps. So at this point I'm ready to tie in my hackle. So here I've got some done hackle. Uh, you can either get this from a cape or a saddle, wherever. And uh, I'm going to trim this. And so you, you know the dull side versus the shiny side. And if I put this on the parachute post uh, closest to me, I want the shiny side facing me. So basically I'm going to tie that in so it goes all the way up the parachute post. Um, and uh, with the shiny side facing me. Now the key here is to clean off your hackle so there's plenty of stem showing. So with my thread, get some more off of there, with my thread on the back of the post, I'm going to come over and see how I've kind of got this down like this. I'm going to come over and trap that stem just with one, maybe two good thread wraps and then pull it straight up and wrap it all the way to the top of those thread wraps on the top. Now see how I have quite a bit of stem still? That's fine uh, because it will allow me to, to uh, get my hackle to wrap the way I want with the shiny side down. What that does is it creates the concave going up so when I tie off the parachute it will uh, it won't trap any fibers so you can see I have a little bit of stem hanging down um, right here in the front of the fly I'm not going to trim that I'm just going to take and wrap over that okay and I'm going to reinforce this post now really well so it doesn't slip around when when I'm fishing the fly okay you can say I'm addicted to ice dub I'm going to take some UV olive ice dub and just dub a, a little bit onto my thread. And I'm going to create just a little bit of a thorax here. And always end that with a few wraps of thread around your parachute post. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this this hackle and I'm going to start winding it around and I want to make sure that it starts doing what I want it to by going one wrap underneath the other. And if you do that right, once you get down here by the thorax, you can cram in maybe two to three more wraps really tight in those tight quarters and get it to really compact a lot. So now you see my thread was behind the parachute post when I did this and I still have a hold of the hackle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to go underneath the parachute hackle but on top of the excess hackle and tie it off on the post. So if I kind of wiggle my thread two turns of thread and I'm tied off. See I let go of the hackle, it's not going anywhere. Take my scissors and I can come up and trim that off. Now look at that right now and you can see that is a clean clean parachute. There are no fibers at all down. Um, it's wrapped completely uniformly because we wrapped it down uh, the, the parachute post. And now this is a part where a lot of people will screw up by, you know, grabbing all their hackles and pulling them back and doing a whip finish. We're going to show you a way to, to get away from that and, and uh, tie off a fly a little bit more, more easily. So there's a special type of glue called craggle. And we're going to use that. It's super glue essentially. And you want kind of a medium viscosity. You don't want a really thin glue, but you don't want it too thick. So you can see 
I barely have any on the end of this bodkin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove that bodkin right behind my parachute post. Kind of go back and forth. And that super glue is now in there. Take this and trim off my thread. Now I've tied dozens and dozens of these for people and I've never once had them tell me that it's come apart um, due to crazy glue being there. I mean if you want to dab a little bit of head cement on top of the parachute and let it seep down in, knock yourself out, you can do that as well. Now all we need to do is trim the parachute post. A lot of people like it as long as the body, some like a shorter post. Um, I don't know, we'll just kind of pick that right there. So anyway, that's just called the easy parachute. Again, like a lot of our patterns, just kind of choose what you like best. If you want to do a different tail, go ahead. If you're going to do a different body, go ahead. But uh, the way to do this parachute wing, or the parachute post, and tie off the parachute will make your parachute tying life a lot easier. Anyway, this fly will not work for you unless you go to the top of the screen and click subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thank you.